In this video, I want to show you how you can create a conversion campaign on Facebook. So a conversion campaign is like um, the most important campaign that you have to create at some sort for your business. So if you run an e-commerce business, a digital marketing um, business, whatever kind of business you are running and you want to make sales using Facebook ads, Instagram ads, you have to run a conversion campaign. This is a given because this is like... Um, the most important targeting option that Facebook has given us. So before we begin, you should subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you find this video useful, you should like this video so that face, um, YouTube will know that we are actually here doing some good job. So to create a, um, a conversion campaign, you need to come to your ads manager. And this is the ads manager. So we are just going to come here where it says create. And now we just come straight to conversion. So you see here it says this conversion um, objective is optimized for it to show your ads to people who are most likely to take action like buying something or calling you from your website. So this is um, a very popular objective for campaign and um, for Facebook advertiser. So we click on, on um, conversions. So for you to run a conversion campaign, you need to have a pixel attached to your site because Facebook is going to be tracking activities on your website and they need the pixel to help them do this. So we just created a conversion campaign and um, we are ready to go. We come here where it says continue. We click on continue and we will be now at the campaign level. So you can name your campaign whatever you want. So I'm just going to call it... Um, Okay, I'm just going to leave it this way, new conversion campaign. But for best practices, you need to name your campaign properly so that you can find it easy to navigate your dashboard later on. So I'm just going to turn off the campaign um, budget optimization for now. I'm going to turn it off so I continue to next. So here we have to choose where we want to get this conversion. We want it on our website and that's why we have a website um, tracker, a pixel on the website. So. If you already have it installed, Facebook is going to show you the pixel here. If you do not know how to create a pixel, I already have a video on that. I will put it in the link um, in the description of this video, so you can set up your own pixel. You equally need to have customized your own um, um, events. All right. So if you have the pixel attached, it's going to come up here. So this is um, the pixel I have attached. So here you need to select a conversion event. This is what um, the Facebook campaign will be optimizing for. So from here, you have um, um, events that you've created. You have um, like lead, purchase, blah, blah, blah. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to select purchase because we want to sell something. So I choose purchase. So we, we continue and then we set our budget. You can say whatever you want, but I'm not going to run this advert. So I'm just going to leave it this way. So you pay what you are comfortable with and you grow from there. So from here, you can set um, the schedule date. If you want this advert to be scheduled, if you want it to run at a given time, you can schedule it here. And you can equally set um, a start date after scheduling. That's actually what it means to schedule. You set a start date. But if you want it to start almost immediately, you just leave it this way. And then you, if you want it to, if you want it to have an end date, you can set your end date here. But we are just going to leave everything blank there. So we come to our targeting. This is um, where we do our targeting. So you can choose people you want to target. So I'm just going to choose um, people who live in this location. I like to do that because I do not want my adverts to spill out. So you can. Um, select the location where you want you can use states um, towns local governments and all of that but we are going to leave it at nigeria for now you can select even other countries like ghana or whatever you want to do the ghana usa any country you want to target all right but we are just going to use um okay let's just add ghana yeah so we can just add ghana too all right so we are targeting nigeria and ghana so you come here where it says this is the age you can select the age check um the age that fits into your products or your services so we we are just going to keep it at um 
20 to 50, 25 to 50. And from here, you can select the gender. If you want to target a specific gender, you can choose women or men. Or if you sell a product that serves both, you can just leave it at all. All right. So we come here where we do our detailed targeting. This is where we do our detailed targeting where we can add demographics, interests, and behaviors. So for here, we are just going to use um, food, people who are interested in food because as people we are trying to market to. So you just um, select this, all right? If you have your own targeting options, you can type them in here and see if they pop or not, or you use what Facebook has provided for you. So another option is to come here where it says um, suggestions so we can find um, suggestions from Facebook for people who are interested in stuff like this. So we are just going to let's add eating and add foodie and add um, um, lunch and add um, online food ordering. All right. And boom, we are fine. So we come down here, you can select the languages, but we are going to leave it at English because we are targeting an English people, all right, or a, a large percentage of people who speak English. All right, so here, if um, this is where you choose your placement, you can leave it at automatic. This means you are telling Facebook to place this advert wherever they think is best for you. But you can, if you want to stay in control, you can use manual and from manual you can show, you can select where you want this advert to show so you can uncheck the ones you don't want. Alright, if you want it to show on just Facebook, you can uncheck Instagram and it's going to be on just Facebook. If you want it to show on both platforms, you can check both platforms and even on both platforms, you can, you can check where you don't want it to come so we don't want it to be displayed on instagram shop or facebook um, right column or facebook marketplace or we just want it to be on just the facebook feed and the instagram news feed of course this is not definite you can do whatever you want all right so i'm just going to continue from here so that's practically all we need to do here so we now go to the ad level where we have to upload our creative and our primary test so again you can name your ad give it an ad name but we are just going to leave it here because we are just using this one so you select the page you want to use if you click here it's going to show you the pages you have all right so you select the one you want so i'm just going to use this one all right if you if you want to connect it to instagram you must have linked this page to instagram or you link it immediately so by default it's going to select the page the instagram page that is already connected to the facebook page all right so that's all you need to do here so we need to we need to um set up an ad we can use um, an existing post this is if you want to use a post that you already have on your page your instagram page or your facebook page or you can just create it from here what happens if you create it from here is that people will not be able to see this post if they go to your page so it's it's a ghost it's a ghost post so you can only see this page from your back end they see the advert they can interact with the advert but they cannot see it when they go to your page itself all right so that's what it means to use a create ad so we now select the ad format want it to be a single video or image if you have more pictures or you have more videos you can use carousel so that you can line up these videos as they come all right so we we are just going to use a single video for this or a single image so we come down here where it tells us to to select the image uh, and all the videos so i'm just going to use an image for this 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 um video so i'm just going to come here and i'm going to select this one and we go to next so it's going to give you the option and show you how these things are going to appear on different um, news feeds so this is on the stories the facebook stories and reels all right on instagram stories and reels this is the feed and this is um the search result for instant articles all right we see okay we are fine with that so we go to next all right and um we come down here this is where we have our primary test you write your primary test selling out fast 
you have to write something that is catchy so people can buy all right so you must have um had you must have created your own sales your own sales pitch or your sales copy so i'm just going to say selling out fast selling out fast blah 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 right so you put the information they need here so you can write a short headline and um, this is actually optional but you can do that if you want you can write a description which is optional again so let me show you what the headline we do so right here we don't have we just have shopping and retail here so we are just going to add um, a headline here and say instant instant delivery or whatever you want to use as your header so i'm just going to say instant delivery All right, so if you come down here you will notice our header has changed so our um what we used to have there is gone so we just come back here and um we want to we want to put the the url that we want to channel this traffic to so we are going to use i'm just going to use my website for this so i go to goodnoel.com all right And um, our website is going to be updated here. So you can see this is goodnoel.com. And you can add a call to action. Let's say we want something different. We want them to book now or apply now. Or to download something or to get an offer. Stuff like that. But we are actually trying to sell something. So we can use shop now. Alright. And then we are going to have shop now right here. Alright. So this is... um basically all you need to do and you are ready to go so this is attached to a website that is different from this this is where the website event is coming from but you should have your own setup properly and once you have all these arranged this way you are ready to go you come here and you hit publish all right and once published the adverts will go to review and after review if you followed all the facebook advertising policies they are going to approve your advert and then your advert will go live and people can start seeing your advert and engaging with your advert if your advert has been rejected you can edit and reapply again and they are going to approve you so this is how you create a conversion campaign if you think this video has helped you please like this video and then subscribe to this youtube channel and this is it for today i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching my name is good noel bye bye